Uh. Hello, my name is Bryant Chitsey, and this is my persuasive speech. What is graffiti? By definition, graffiti is usually unauthorized writing or drawing on a public place. This might be what one thinks of when they first hear the word graffiti. The tags and bubble letters that are spray painted on the sides of train cars. These tags are the reasons that true graffiti or street art has been made illegal in many regions by anti-graffiti laws. These laws recognize graffiti as vandalism. So the question is, should graffiti be considered art? Graffiti culture has been on the rise in past years. Many graffiti artists, one of the biggest being British artist Banksy, have actually sold their pieces for large quantities of money. These auction sales do not make graffiti an art form just because they are sold at art functions. The true reason that graffiti should be considered art is because it is a form of communication that people use to interact when they otherwise would not be able to, it is a form of self-expression and creativity, and overall, it makes the world a more colorful, happier place. Graffiti is a way that people can communicate. Art is one of the most long-lived tools of communication. American musician Connor Oberst says, art is essentially communication. It doesn't exist in a vacuum. That's why people make art, so other people can relate to it. In this sense, graffiti should be considered the same way. Banksy is one of the most recognizable graffiti artists to use graffiti as a way to communicate a message. He uses graffiti to interact with his audience in ways that words cannot, making his works very popular. His piece titled The Flower Thrower is a great example of this. This piece features a man looking as though he is in the midst of a riot with traditional riot gear, in a position to throw a Molotov cocktail. Instead of the weapon, he holds a bunch of flowers. By substituting a weapon with a bunch of flowers, Banksy is advocating peace instead of war, and he opted to install this message of peace in a high conflict area, says the art story in their article, Banksy Artworks and Famous Street Art. Banksy's artworks all around the world are very representative of this type of satirical humor to gain attention on matters not usually talked about. These types of messages are great qualifications for graffiti as art. Much like traditional art, along with portraying the message, graffiti is used as an artist's sense of self-expression and creativity. The self-expression of graffiti and the creativity that it portrays go hand in hand. In her article, Graffiti, Self-Expression or Vandalism, Sylvia Sadiq discusses graffiti and its uses as self-expression for artists. She says, to those who appreciate it, it's an outlet for artists to portray their talent, feelings, and opinions. Graffiti is a way for artists to show the world what they think. Not only is graffiti used to express one's feelings and opinions, it is also a form of creativity. Graffiti is just another outlet for artists to create. Zaya World's article, Street Art, Fancy Name for Vandalism, puts it perfectly. Every era of every corner of the world has experienced mankind's desire to leave its mark on its surroundings. As an artist, I can relate to this. While I do not work with graffiti, I understand the desire to put my mark on the world. While there may be a few exceptions, I can only assume that many other artists, even those such as Picasso and Van Gogh, did not create to become recognized later on but so that they could create just to create. The creativity portrayed in graffiti contrasts with the creativity portrayed in traditional art techniques. The 
The article, 10 Reasons to Love Street Art, discusses the creativity shown in graffiti. It says, Street art isn't just limited to painting on walls. It's about interaction within the public space. While there is creativity in making a blank canvas come to life, graffiti adds on to that, using the structure of the world to make a statement. Finally, Graffiti makes the world a much more colorful and happier place. Without artwork, the world would be bland. Along with the absence of creativity, there would be so much less union between cultures. Art, and by association graffiti, allows those cultures to influence each other and make something amazing. While there is diversity in artwork, one can see influences and styles that are brought over from different regions of the world. Along with creativity and graffiti, 10 Reasons to Love Street Art discusses this diversity. The article says, there are street artists in nearly every country in the world who are influenced and inspired by a multitude of cultures and styles, resulting in a wide and expansive body of urban art that can be found all over the world. This union is something that can truly only be done through the influence of the creativity and styles exhibited all over the world. Along with the brightness of diversity and union between cultures, street art adds a brightness to the world. Once again, 10 Reasons to Love Street Art brings up a very good point regarding the color added to the world through graffiti. The article says, Art in the street makes people happy. It makes their day and their commute more interesting. It adds character to what would otherwise be gray and boring and reminds people to feel alive. It wakes people up. It inspires, motivates. Sometimes it can make people think. Street art takes the normal and makes it a thousand times more interesting. There are many cities within the United States, such as New York City, New York, and Honolulu, Hawaii, that recognize graffiti as an art form. These cities commission graffiti artists and street artists to create fantastic murals. These murals are used to showcase the creativity of the city or even to revitalize forgotten areas that make up the rich history of these places. By creating murals that bring attention to forgotten history and showcase the amazing people that live in the world, graffiti truly takes the normal and makes it a thousand times more interesting. So, should graffiti be considered art? When I think of art, I think of a visual representation of an artist. Whether it's in a traditional sense or not, I believe that art is used to send a message, uses a form of self-expression, and it ultimately makes the world a more interesting place. Compared to that representation, graffiti should be held to those same values. So, to answer the question, through its use as a tool for communication and self-expression and the influence it has on the world, yes, graffiti is art. Thank you.